we will be looking into package manager as it has several design updates in unity 2020 lts and above we will be looking into new interface icons improved layout and better distinctions between information for currently installed packages and for available updates to open a package manager go to windows and click on package manager we will explore all the functionality one by one and here you can see overall interface of package manager in this panel we can see all the installed packages by clicking on any package we can see see more information of that package on this right side panel and the green check icon represent the packages updated to the latest version this black and white up arrow shows the new version of this particular package is available to update to update any package we simply select the package and click on update button to update the package to the latest version it will take few seconds to download and compile the latest package we have updated the test framework to the latest version but if we want to we can also update any package to the specific version we can click Click on this triangle icon to see the current and the latest available version and click here to see all other versions and from the list we can switch to any version. In case you are facing an issue with the latest version, you can always roll back to your previous version. For a Visual Studio Editor, I am selecting the latest version and updating it as these are all installed packages in the project. And now let's see how we can install the other packages provided by Unity. We can access the other packages by clicking here and select unity registry and it will grab all the packages provided by unity as we can see in this list we have different kind of packages we have 2d packages we have ar related packages ar foundation ar kit ar core and several different other packages and the packages that are installed and we are using they have a green check mark to install a new package just simply select the package and click on this install button it will download and compile the package it will take a while depending on the package size and it will show the green check mark after installing the package as you know for the package detail we have information in this panel for more detail we can click on more to expand the description of the package to read more about the documentation of the package we can click on view documentation it will open the unit the official documentation page and here you can read more about the package in detail let's close this page and try on the other package opening the documentation for unity ads from here we can also read the documentation of specific version of the package by clicking on view license we can see the license information of the package so this was all about installing the unity provided packages as we have a long list of packages so unity has provided an option to sort the packages click here to open the four available sorting options we can sort them by name or by publish date in in ascending or descending order let's try sorting by published date in ascending order and this is how it looks apart from these verified assets unity also provide preview packages basically these packages are under development and in testing phases by default unity doesn't show these packages but we can enable them click on this setting icon and select the advanced project setting at the bottom check enable preview packages we are enabling it for the first time and it's giving us alert message Preview packages are in early stage of development and not ready for production. We recommend using these only for testing purpose and give us direct feedback. Click on I understand and close the project setting window. So now in the unity registry option we can also see the preview packages. Preview packages are not recommended to use in the production project. Currently in preview packages we have 2D IK, 2D tile map, device simulator, game foundation, have a physics for unity, jobs, memory profile, mock HMDXR plugin, talent tools, UI builder, unity netcode, unity reflect, XR interaction toolkit. Now let's enable the package dependency option. Click this setting icon and select advanced project setting and at the bottom check show dependencies and close the project setting window. Now we can see the dependency option at the bottom of information panel. Here we can see the dependent package information. Like here in USD package we have a list of in use packages and these are the dependencies for 2D tile map package. For the testing purpose I am installing a UI builder that is a preview package and few packages also provide the option to download the samples as UI builder providing a 5 samples click on import to download the samples into your project when we use a preview package unity editor also indicate that your project is using a preview package if you want to know which unity preview package is installed into your project you can click on preview package indicator and select show preview package and it will take you to the used preview package and if you want to reset your all packages to the default version Click on setting icon and select reset packages to the default. It will give you the warning. Click yes if you want to reset. For the testing purpose and to show you I will be resetting it. And now we are back to the default packages. 
Now let's move to the Unity Asset Store packages. Click on Packages and select My Assets to access all your Unity Asset Store packages. Here we can see the list of all the assets paid or free that I have added into my Unity account using Unity Asset Store. You can click on Asset to know more about it. We can download the assets by clicking here the download button. A download progress will start. After downloading the package, we will see a import button. This icon means this package is not downloaded yet. And this icon means it's downloaded and we can import into our project. If any asset store package have a dependent package in package manager, it will show us a warning like this. This package is used to integrate Unity ads more easily and it's using advertisement package from the package manager. By clicking here view in the asset store, we can see the package in the asset store and from the asset store, we can see more detail about the asset. Let's close this and go back to Unity. And by clicking here, we can see the asset publisher website. Let's get back to Unity. If you bought a package and after a while it's not available on asset store, Unity will add the depreciation tag against that package and it won't be available for the new user, but you can import and use a package. And sometimes the publisher have the asset at their own website, but not at the Unity asset store. Like here, you can download the Facebook Unity SDK from the Facebook website. In my asset tab, we have an extra sorting option with the purchase date. By clicking here, we can refresh the package list if the packages are not properly loaded. In my asset tab, we also have an option for filter. In filter, we have a status and categories. Let's try the different variation to filter the packages. Let's try the 2D packages. And from here, we can clear all the filters. In the packages list, in the last option is built-in packages. Here we have all the built-in packages. And the most important and key feature of package manager is the search bar. We can search the packages. Here I'm searching an AR and it's giving me an AR related packages. Using this plus sign, we have a three options to import the packages into our project. And the first option is add package from the disk. Using this option, you need to open your custom local package and search for the package.json and click open. It will import the package and it will also install all the dependencies of the package. And the second option is add the package from the tarball. To import the package using this option, you need to download your package with extension.tgz. And for the third option, let's copy the repository URL. Select the third option and place the URL and click add. It will start downloading and installing the package. And that's it for the package manager and I see you in the next.